Hello friends, welcome to Infigyan. In this very very exciting video of exponential equations, we'll be solving minus one power x equal to minus one. Negative one power x equal to negative one. While solving this problem, we'll use exponent, we'll use log, properties, algebraic manipulation, complex numbers, properties of i, algebraic manipulation, and many more. I am going to solve this problem by three approaches. Approach number one. I am beginning with which is called analytical approach. So I would consider x, see I am considering x as three approaches for analytical method. Let me write here analytical method or approach. Okay. I will consider x e1. Then I will consider x odd. Then I will consider x zero. Let me write here zero. Okay. If I am taking x even, so I can write x is equal to two n. When I am taking x odd, so I have to consider either two n plus one or two n minus one. And x equal to zero means x equal to zero. What we can do here? Okay. Let's consider. Let me write minus one LHS first. Minus one par x would be equal to minus one par two m. Okay. By the exponent property, now we can write minus one par two whole par n. Or so this value will be one raised to the power n. That means any base is one, exponent is n, value would be one always, which is not equal to RHS. That means x equal to two n or even case, it is not our solution. So we will consider no solution here. Done. Odd case. I will consider. I will begin with the left hand side. So I will write minus one raised to the power. 2n plus 1. Then I will use the exponent property a par b plus c a par b times a par c. I will write minus 1 par 2n times minus 1 par 1. So it will I this will I will consider minus 1 whole par 2 exponent property again whole par n by which property x par a b equal to x par a whole par b. Times minus one raised to the power one means minus one. Now you can see minus one whole square is one power n times negative one, and one power n is one. So minus one, which is our RHS. So analytical con conclusion is for x equal to odd, there is solution. Then. How many solution we will talk little later, but there is solution. Okay, x equal to zero. I am putting x equal to zero. LHS is minus one power zero. Anything power zero is one. Only thing is base should be real, so it is real. Minus one is real. Power zero, so that value would be one, which is not equal to our RHS. So no solution for x equal to zero. X cannot be zero. Now we will talk about how many solutions. So it simply depends upon the value of n here. N is integer, so that much number of solutions must be there. So I will write x is equal to 2n plus 1, where n belongs to z integer. This is our solution. You can put, you can check the value. Minus one raised to the power one, that would be minus one. Minus one raised to the power odd parts three, minus one five, minus one power minus one also. You can check minus one raised to the power minus one. I will write one over minus one raised to the power one, which is again minus one. Minus one raised to the power three, negative three, equal to one over minus one raised to the power three, which is one over minus one, so minus one. You can check all the odd powers will satisfy our 
is standard epic equation minus 1 raised to the power x equal to minus 1. Now let's consider the second approach which is I would say exponential method or let us take logarithmic first. Let me take log first. I will consider minus 1 raised to the power x equal to negative 1. I would write as we know i equal to square root of negative 1. i square is negative 1. Right hand side I would consider again same thing. I would write i square whole power x equal to let me write right hand side as minus 1 as e raised to the power i pi if you will put then it will come out what value i but we have to need we have to find out minus 1 i will write e raised to the power i pi over 2 is incorrect e raised to the power i pi you can check any time cos pi plus i sin pi cos pi is negative 1 sin pi is 0 negative 1 so minus 1 is e raised to the power i pi let me write here and see i am not adding 2k pi because i am finding principal solution if you want all the series of solution then you have to consider here 2k pi general solution i is there okay now what i will take i will take ln both sides let me write ln so ln ln so i will get i will write first ln i power 2x by the exponent property ln e raised to the power i pi let me take common so 2k plus 1 1 plus 2k that means same 2k plus 1 now take ln both sides so power will come down so it will become 2x ln i equal to i pi 2k plus 1 what i should write ln e that would be 1 let me write one time okay so 2x 2x ln i equal to i pi 2k plus 1 as we know that ln e is 1 okay so x will be equal to i pi 2k plus 1 over 2 ln i. Now see ln i, I would write ln e raised to the power i pi by 2, i as e raised to the power i pi by 2, it will come outside e i pi by 2 ln e, so that value is 1. So if I will write uh, i pi over 2, so see this term will get cancelled out, whole term this term will get cancelled out okay ln i is i pi over 2 so completely it will be over what i am getting 2k plus 1 where k belongs to integer this should be written here also k belongs to integer why it is like that e raised to the power i theta is cos theta plus i sin theta because of cosine and sine having same period 2 pi so one periodic revolution it will be in general 2k pi so 2, 2 pi 4 pi 6 pi 8 pi like that third approach using exponential so let me consider i square i would write power x equal to now see right hand side is negative 1 so i can consider i power 2 is negative 1 if you will see i6 is negative 1, i10 is negative 1. Similarly, on negative side, I can write i minus 2 is negative 1. See, this is keeping this thing in our mind. We can write right hand general value using AP also. We can find out this value would be 4n plus 2. Okay, n equal to 0, 2, n equal to 1, 4 plus 2, 6, n equal to 2. 8 plus 2 10 so series is there n equal to minus 1 minus 4 plus 2 minus 2 so it is matching that value is correct and how it is 
it is 1 over i square. So 1 over minus 1, that's why minus 1. Okay. What I will write there, exponent property a power b whole power c equal to a power b c. So left hand side will become i power 2x would be equal to i power 4n plus 2. Remember, n belongs to integer. So just by comparing both sides, base are same a power b equal to a power c. That means b equal to c. So I will write here. 2x is equal to 4n plus 2. So x will be equal to 2n plus 1 again. And n belongs to integer. This is using exponential approach. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video.